Hi everyone, this is a group assignment for the solid mechanics one. We are from session 11 and our lecturer is Dr. Nomazia. So these are our group members and the five real world problems. The first is determine the maximum tensile stress of an aluminum pole that can withstand in the basketball court. In the basketball match, such as the NBA events, the slam dance is normally occurs in the competition of basketball. So in this example, we will determine the maximum tensile stress that can withstand by the aluminum pole. So the second problem is the pipe wrench. In this pipe wrench, when we, when we use the pipe wrench, the top will be applied. So we will tighten or lose the pipe. So from this example, we will determine the maximum or the larger torsion and the larger stress which will make the wall more easier to be done in this pipe wrench. So the third is find the maximum allowable internal stress of the gas tank. In the cylindrical vessel, the internal pressure is resist by the hoop or circumferential stress in our action, whereas the extra stress does not contribute. So in this spherical vessel, we will find the maximum allowable internal stress. The fourth problem is the maximum compressive stress that can be stemmed by the railway tracks during the hot weather. During the hot season, the high temperature will cause the railway track to expand, whereas the cold season will, such as the winter, will cause the railway track to re reduce. So we will determine the maximum compressive stress that the railway track can withstand to ensure the trains can pass through this railway track in uh, safety. The fourth and the fifth problem is the gear of bridge can withstand more maximum bending stress and the toughest gear. So in the bridge, actually have the warning sign of the wet limit. When the vehicle such the motorcycle, car or the truck cross the bridge, they will apply the load on the bridge. So with the with this apply load, we can determine the the shear and moment diagram. Then from the maximum moment, we can then determine in which structure of the gear, such as the rectangular T shape or the I shape gear, can with withstand more bending stress. So with this with this bending stress, we can then determine which gear is more suitable for the for building the structure of the bridge. I will be presenting the introduction of this project. In this assignment, the girder that is used for the structure of building bridges is selected for our study case. Some single plank bridges have the weight limit warning sign to prevent the breakage of the bridge when the vehicles cross the bridge are overweight or access the weight limit of the bridge. Therefore, we will determine the shear force and moment of the vehicles which is motorcycle, car and truck when it cross the bridge. With the maximum moment, we should be able to determine the maximum bending stress of different types of girder that is used for the structure for the building bridge. Beams are important structural members used in building construction. Their design is often based upon their ability to resist bending stress. They are used to support the floor of a building, the deck of a bridge, or the wing of an aircraft. Also, the exile of an automobile, the, the boom of a crane, even many of the bones of the body act as beams. Theoretically, we will be using Fletcher's formula which gives the internal bending stress caused by an external moment on a beam or other bending member of a homogeneous material. There are three things to be considered when applying Fletcher's formula. The first thing is we consider the unloaded beam with hatch square. Second is beam subjected to bending with hatch square deform. And thirdly, stress diagram of deformed beam subjected to bending. As you can see, the flexures formula is given as uh, maximum shear stress is equivalent to MC over I. Now I will talk about problem statement. Some single plank bridge has the weight limit warning sign. The purpose of this warning sign is to prevent the breakage or deformation of the bridge is overweight or excess the weight limit of the single plank bridge. Hence, in this assignment, we will determine the shear force and moments of the motorcycle, car, and the truck when it cross bridge. When the maximum moment, we will then determine the maximum bending stress of dif different types girder that used for the structure for the building bridge. Then we will 
draw the stress distribution in 2D and 3D. The objective in our assignment is first to determine the shear force and moment diagram of the motorcycle, car and the truck respectively. Then we will calculate the maximum moment of the vehicles such as the motorcycle, car and the truck from the shear force and moment diagram. Then we will, we will use the maximum moment to determine the stress of the different types of gear that used to build the bridge from the maximum moment. So after that, last but not least, we will draw out the stress di distribution of gear in two dimension and three dimension. In the calculation and assumptions, there is two concentrated load that produced by the motorcycle car or the truck when it crossed the bridge. For the formula F equal to mg, we can determine the force of motorcycle car and the truck. The table shows the mass, force, and length of the different types of vehicles. So in the left figure, from the free body diagram and equation of equilibrium, we can determine the reaction force that is the FA and FB produced by the vehicles that is motorcycle. Then from the right hand side with certain distance, we can see the uh, maximum moment and the moment and shear stress that produced. So with this shear stress and moment, we can determine the shear and moment diagram. So for the car, in the free body diagram and equation of equilibrium also shows that the reaction force in the right figure shows in certain distance the moment and shear stress that can produce by the car when it crosses the bridge and the shear and moment diagram will be produced after this. So the last is the truck. The free body diagram and the equation of equilibrium in the left figure can determine the reaction force FA and FP and the right figure in certain distance the, when the truck cross the bridge, we can determine the shear stress and the moment that produced by the truck on that bridge. So we can draw the shear and moment diagram with this shear stress and the moment values. So there are three types of gear used to make the bridge. The first one is the rectangular, second one is the T shape, and the last one is the I shape. So we will use the bending stress equal to MCI formula to find the bending stress in these three, ty three types of the gear. So we will, when the truck crosses the bridge, we assume that the upper part of the bridge will occur the compressive stress while the lower part of the bridge will occur the tensile stress. So the moment will from the lower part to the upper part. So the left figure shows the moment of inertia first. We will find the moment of inertia before we find the maximum bending stress of different types of gear. So after the maximum bending stress produced, we can then draw the stress distribution is in two dimension that is 2D and three dimension that is 3D as shown in the right figure. So the assumptions, the total length that the bridge used is equal to 100 meters. The mass of motorcycle, car and track we get this value from the website which can refer in the reference number one until number four. When the vehicle cross the bridge, we assume that the compressive stress occurs on the upper part of the bridge while the tensile stress occurs on the lower part of the bridge. So the moments will from the lower part to the upper part. This is because the bridge will bend downward due to the gravitational force, hence the moments produced will be in the direction of counterclockwise. So when we use the same materials to make the gear, the shape of gear used to make the bridge should be T-shaped. It is because it has a larger maximum bending stress that is 2.433 gigapascal, which means its structure is more tough when compared to other structure. So as shown in the figure below, the T-shaped gear was structured to build the bridge. On to the next part, which is about result discussion. So based on this result, we have made a research about the mass, force and also the length about various types of vehicles that are actually common on the road. So for the first type of vehicle is motorcycle followed by truck and lastly car. So for the second and third slide, we did some calculation about the reaction forces and also maximum moments of the three types of vehicles. We can see that the maximum moment of the motorcycle is 44.1 kN and the car is 381.6 kN followed by a truck which is 1677.95 kN. 
To conclude, we can tell that the trap has the most maximum moment since it has the most amount of masses compared to the other vehicles. Okay, lastly, based on the research that our group have been made is that we can tell that the T-Gather is the most suitable compared to the others such as the rectangular and the I-Gather since it has the most maximum bending stress with the amount of 2.433 gigapascal on tensile stress. First, the topic that have been selected is to study the chapter 1 and 3. First step, we must draw the FPD as uh, shown in the slide. In conclusion, we can conclude that the T-shaped gator has the most suitable gator shape to do the bridge. Although the T-shaped gator is the task, the maximum bending stress is recorded as 2.433 MPa. Hence, to avoid the breakage of it, the warning sign must be shown and installed. In short, our recommendation is we suggest the T-beam leader as it can withstand more stress when compared to others. Thank you.